So we are into the end of March and I am bringing you my monthly favorites. This is my favorite video to watch at the end of the month and it's my favorite video to make. Not only do I get to see everybody's favorites and get some great ideas, I get to share with you what I have either found this month or been using over and over again. And this wasn't a huge buying month for me. I don't think it is for any of us. So I've just kind of gone back into my stash and found things that either I talked about through the month or maybe things that have impressed me and brought back a couple new things in here though. So I wanna get into that right now with you. Let's get into March monthly favorite. Okay, so I'm gonna get this out of the way because it's the biggest thing in my box that's on my lap. This is from Tantal's. A lot of people ask me what I use for my mature skin and self tanning and this is it. I love the Tantal products. I like them because I get a soft tan without looking orange ever. And I also like getting them off of HS HSN because I can get a big package of them. Normally a Tantel that is the full size, let's see if I can find a full size. The full size right here is like over $2 if you just order this off of Ulta. But when they come together, like I think this is a 24 piece set or something like that. They come together like this where you've got a bunch of half towels and then you've got the full size. And then you also have the gradual tanner that is the glow that you can use all over your body. This is the gradual tanning moisturizer from them. That's a huge bottle of it. It's eight fluid ounces. It's a tube, sorry, not a bottle. Eight fluid ounces. It just keeps your tan looking pretty in between using these. And it's gradual. It's a lot like the Jurgens um, gradual tanner that you use either after your shower or just regular. But these tan towels, they come like this and I'm not gonna open one right now, but it's just like a towelette that you might get at a restaurant after you're done eating. And yes, when you use these, what happens is your skin will develop a little bit of color on it. And what happens is that smell will come, that funky smell. These don't have a funky smell in them. They don't have any smell except for a little bit of an alcohol smell to them. But your skin will because your skin is actually changing its color. And that's the, what that little smell is. It's just your skin changing a little bit. Just FYI on that one. Half towel I find that I use all the time because... I'm not normally showing my body to the world. I don't normally wear shorts. I wear crop pants if I am. So I can do my calves and clear down my legs with this. I can do all over my chest, my arms and my face with this half towel and it'd be great. But the, the bigger towels, they're great if you need to go up your, you know, your thighs, if you are gonna wear shorts or go out into the pool or anything like that, the bigger towel will do your whole body. So I love these. I think it develops a beautiful soft tan. Oh, and I, I should tell you, make sure that you exfoliate and that you don't have any lotions or anything on before you use that. And I actually use gloves on my hand if I can find them, you know, gloves are kind of in short supply. If you can't find gloves, the next best thing is to use a mitt. If you don't have a mitt, then go ahead and put lotion on the palms of your hands before you do it. And then wash your hands right after because the lotion will keep the actual product off of that tan towel from staining the palms of your hands. You learned that the hard way. So those are just a couple of little tips that you can do. Okay. This is one that I bought that is new and I was so excited and this is, was just a treat for myself because you guys, I've talked over and over again about how much I love um, Juicy Couture's fragrances, Viva La Juicy, and this is no different. This is their new Bodacious one and I will list up here somewhere the notes in here. But this has a much more coconut, I'm a coconut freak when it comes to fragrance. Coconut and vanilla and pineapple, the colada, I love that smell. Even though this doesn't smell like colada, it's pretty darn close. I just love this fragrance. Now I will say that uh, Juicy Couture is not one that lasts a really long time on me unless I do something like put a little bit of fragrance free lotion, maybe a little Vaseline on your wrists right here and then spray it, then it's gonna last like all day because you have it actually in that oil. So if you have a fragrance free, free oil that you like to use, like I will even use the squalane oil from The Ordinary and put it, you know, like behind my ears and stuff. And then you just go ahead and spray it on top of that. It's gonna last a lot longer. Another tip, this is turning into a tip video, not necessarily your favorites video. All right, skincare. You guys, this is my second bottle of the Niacinamide Brightening Toner from Good Molecules. Wow. I am not one that usually gets all excited about toners because I don't really find that they do that much. I've had the glycolic toner. I know that that sloughs off skin, which I really do like, and I use that on a daily basis as well, whether it's 
from The Ordinary or, or whether it is from Pixie. I love both of those, those glycolic ones. But this one, just let me read what's in it. Formulated with niacinamide. Niacinamide cleans our pores and refines our pores. It's also a brightener. Vitamin C is an antioxidant, helps fight off free radicals, the bad junk that gets on our skin that can age us. And it's a brightener. Uh, Arbutin, which is a known brightener as well, and licorice root extract to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores. All of those things used in tandem, they really clean out those pores so good. And when your pores are clean, that's when your pores have a tendency to look so much more diminished. When your pores are clogged, that is when they're gonna be looking bigger because they're actually spread open from having gunk in them. So you wanna clean out all that sebum, all that dirt, all of that extra junk out of your pores and they're gonna look more refined. And this is the first time in using any products in a very long time that I feel like mine are finally starting to be really diminished and really looking so much better than they ever have before. And you get this from Beautylish um, and it's the only place that I know of besides the Good Molecules actual website that you can buy this. But this is my second bottle and I love it, you guys. And then the only other skincare product that I have in here that I just started using. I did have this, but I was trying to get through some of my other oils before it. And then somebody in one of the comments when I did a skincare video said, have you tried the Good Molecules Ultra Hydrating Face Oil? And now I can say, yes, I have, because you made me pull it out of my drawer and get it. So let me just read on this one. This one says, Form formulated with cam camellia and sea buckthorn oil to hydrate, protect, and nourish. And you guys, this is so good. So I'll tell you what I do with it. I have my moisturizer at night that I want to lock in all of my skincare, but my air is dry and it's dry where I live and you know we have a fan on. So I'll put a few drops of this in my hand and then I will take my moisturizer and I will mix them together. And then I just work it into my face, pat it into my face, rub it into my face, and the two together just seem to make my skin so soft. I am in love with this. I, I'm in love with that doing that anyway. I'm actually trying to use up a lot of oils, but I found that this little oil right here, even though it's small, it's mighty. <laughs> it's really a good one, you guys. It just a couple of drops goes so much further than the other oils that I was using. And I think because it's oils together that work so beautifully together. So really, really am enjoying this. And my skin is so soft in the morning after I've used this. So that is one that I'm saying yes to and loving this month. Also, I showed you guys in an Amazon haul this mirror. And again, I'm not gonna blind you with it, but look how big that mirror is, you guys. I love this thing. It is so nice. It travels like this in its little holder and it's padded. So if you need it to go with you anywhere, you know, even if you're just doing your makeup in the car for the day, it's gonna just hold up really well. It's not gonna get broke. It's a, it's a really nice thick mirror itself. You guys can see right there that it's a thicker mirror. It has this beveled edge. It's, they haven't scrimped any corners with it. And then you can take it and you can use it as an easel when you're traveling. So if you're doing your makeup, you can put it like that. I use it every day as a handheld mirror because it just works so good. And it shows me my whole face. You know, when I use the little round ones that are about this big that you buy at Walmart, I can't see my whole face. And then I get to where I'm going, okay, which part of my face do I wanna see right now? But I can see everything and I love that about it. And you know, lots of times I'm trying to see the back of my hair after I do it. You know, when you look in another mirror and it's really hard to, this is so big that it really helps you see it's that. It's one of those mirrors that you're like, I'm so glad that I got that. I'm so glad that that is with me now. And how did I ever do without that? And here comes another hot flash. Whew, you guys, I don't know how you guys even do this, but yeah, okay, we're gonna move on. So also, I showed you guys this continuous mist. Um, it's just a sprayer, it's just a pump sprayer. And a lot of you said what you used them for. Some of you said that you used them to do hair with. Some of you said that you put different uh, toners in them or essences in them. And then some of you were saying, put your alcohol in here and sanitize. And I think that is such a great idea. And people are doing their own DIY sanitizers because you can't find them in the store. 
I actually just put straight alcohol in here and went and did my sanitizing because I have several bottles of alcohol. So I just feel like this is really good because if you have never seen this before, what you do is you pump this once and it continues to spray and it won't show up very good on camera, but it just keeps going. And hopefully you heard that. Instead of it being something that you could see if you couldn't see it. But I just think it's really genius that you have these around your house. I put spring water in mine and it's what I use in between my layers right before I put on my hyaluronic acid so that my hyaluronic acid has some water to draw off of and I find that I just stay hydrated so much more but I do have another one in my kitchen that I put alcohol in and so this is a great thing you don't have to keep pumping 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 it out you just have the alcohol come out all at once and you can spray all over the place and I like it a whole bunch and then another thing that I'm really enjoying is the covergirl exhibitionist this is the 24 hour eyeliner I don't feel like it's a 24 hour eyeliner you do have to sharpen this yourself it's not an automatic pencil but you guys, that eyeliner is so nice. It's got and that gel-like formula that you need to look at when you have an eyeliner. And it does, on the bottom, it stays placed. As far as going into the waterline, it does last a lot longer than any other pencil I have, except for my one other ones, which, which is... Which are my Ardell ones. I always talk about that, and you guys always ask. My Ardell ones seem to stay forever, but this one particularly, I really enjoy it because it has such a beautiful emerald color to it and I can get a bright look on my eyes with it. I can smudge it out. It's going to be there. It's a beautiful pencil and I would recommend you guys get those. I hope that they come out with more colors than these. Also this month, I showed you guys this e.l.f. This is a multi-stick, but you guys, I'm using this as my blush. You could use it as whatever you wanted if you wanted to do an eyeshadow or if you wanted to put it on your lips you could use it that way too you could use it for any number of things but i am enjoying it so much as my blush and it is what i have on today as my blush and i think that the way that it lays down it just feels really silky it, and it doesn't ever really look super blotchy and because it's that cream formula it has a tendency to hug my cheeks and be on there all day so those little multi sticks i'm really enjoying and they have a lot of other colors and i'm going to pick up a couple more and try those I really do like cream products on my older skin because it just helps out so much. I also this month gave you guys a tutorial on my foundation routine and this is what I used in there. This is the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation with an SPF 50 sunscreen and it says it's hydrating and age defying. They are duping the It Cosmetics CC cream that everybody's in love with, me too. I love that stuff, I've been using it for years. But I think that they've really come close, you guys. I really do like this a lot. It is what I'm wearing today. I've been wearing it for like two weeks straight. And it doesn't matter whether it's getting warm outside because you know it's springtime, the temperatures are going up and down. It doesn't matter whether it's warm or whether I'm freezing my butt off. I am having a really good foundation day each time and I'm loving that. And this, it just, it acts so much like the CC cream and it's going to be so much more cost effective. To me, it might even be a little bit better. I don't know whether I want to say that or not because then somebody's going to say, you'll never, I don't feel that way, which I get, but I really do enjoy this. They did send this to me complimentary. They also sent me a huge box of stuff and I'm only showing you this. So I love this, you guys. I think it's a great great new foundation on the market really good if you want to know what i've got on my lips today i'm in love with this little combo right here this is a koki cosmetics retractable lip liner uh this is plum purple so pretty you guys i love the color by itself it's kind of like a berry plummy color i think it's beautiful but then this one is the smashbox pretty social and these can get kind of expensive but you know what i've been trying to use up what i have in my um, stash and these two together they just make the most beautiful oh my gosh they make such a pretty pretty lipstick combination together just lining my lips and then putting this and kind of you know mixing it together as good as you can and I just think it's so beautiful together. So yeah, that's my combo today. That's my combo that I've been loving 
all week long and just think that it's one of those ones that you really can't go wrong with if you do love pinkies and purples and mauve -y colors. Okay, when this one came out, I missed it the first time and I was so sad because this is one of my favorite YouTubers ever. It's the Samantha March and Ofra highlighter and it's called Start Inspired. When it first came out, it wasn't um, called that, but they've made this a part of their collab with her now. She's done a blush, a bronzer, a lipstick, liquid lipstick, and a lip gloss. And I got all of them, but this is the standout for me, you guys. This is so beautiful, these two together. And Samantha did such a good job on developing this with them. And it's the, one of their best sellers from what I understand. I do have it on my cheeks as my highlighter today. And wow, you guys, it is a very beaming highlight. You can go in there with a really, you know, light hand and not get as much as I got on. But at the same time, this is so beautiful, you guys. I love supporting other YouTubers and Samantha has just been one of my gals that I just am in love with. If you haven't checked out Sam before, please go over and check out her channel. This is probably the hardest working girl on YouTube that I know right now. She really truly is one of those people that never slows down. She's a published author. She has been in social media for over 10 years now. She had a blog, then she went to YouTube and now she's doing podcasts. Samantha is amazing. And I just think that if you don't know who she is, you need to go over and check her out. She's so down to earth and just a beautiful soul. And once you see a few of our videos, you're gonna know what I talk about. But the product, the product is so good too. I think this was uh, more about Sam than it was about the product, but the product is fantastic. Ofra's highlighters, if you ever tried them, you know that they are just like right up there. And this is no different. And this is a huge pan. I know that this is a little bit more expensive, but it's a huge pan and you're gonna have it for a really long time. Just a beautiful, beautiful job that she did on that highlighter. Okay, I have one fail and then we're done. And that is from Physicians Formula. This is the Natural Defense Concealer. I haven't tried the Natural Defense Foundation, but the concealer, um, not only did I pick the wrong color, which I have a tendency to do when I'm online, I always pick the wrong color. It's really, really super light for me. It's too light to go underneath my eyes. But this dries me out. And you guys know that I can't have that with my aging eyes. I have such deep crevices from um, wrinkles from having laugh lines. And then I also have the curse of having inherited dark circles. So I have to have something that's brightening, but, but I absolutely cannot have it dry me out because then I'm just gonna look like I haven't had any sleep for seven years and I'm gonna look like I belong in somewhere else. And I just really, don't like this for that. I think that if you have oily skin underneath your eyes, this could be one that you could set or use without setting. So I do think there are pluses and negatives there, but I know on my dry mature skin, it just dried me out and it looked awful. So that is my negative for the month, but everything else I'm in love with and I really have been enjoying. Please tell me in the comment section below what you've been enjoying. I know so many of you are saying that you just, you just aren't wearing makeup, you aren't feeling like doing anything. And I know that it's getting hard. It really is getting hard for everyone. everyone. And I can't imagine what all of the healthcare workers are going through and all of the hardships that they're facing. And you know, I've talked a little bit before in my channel and as that my husband's a truck driver and without truck drivers, our nation would stop. But those healthcare workers, I feel like they are our unsung heroes along with all the ones that have to keep going. There's still people that have to keep producing the toilet paper that we have in such mass demands. And there's still people that have to keep at the refinery so that we can have gas in our car and the food products that we have. There's still people that have to keep going, but especially our healthcare workers are on the front lines. They're putting their lives at risk knowing that they just want to help other people and i just want to shout out to any of you that are touched by that that have somebody in your household or you yourself are thank you we just appreciate you so much and we love you and i know that people are coming out of the woodwork to help places like new york and the hardest hit places and we love you so much and we're so thankful that you are a part of our lives and that you're putting yourselves out there and wishing the very very best for you so I just wanted to say that today. I love you guys all so much. If you did enjoy this video and you want me to continue to do videos like this and more in the future, please give me a thumbs up. It does help populate and generate my video out there. Everyone, please stay healthy, stay sanitized, stay 
six feet apart from each other if you have the ability to. And I will catch you all in my very next video. I love you. Bye-bye.